Hi, so I'm going to show you today how I do a quick clean of my fountain pens. This is something I do after every fill, so when it runs out or if it's been left for a while, I give it a rinse out. I try never to leave ink in them for too long. This isn't a full intense clean, it's just what I do. So. I've got various pens to clean today, I'm going to show you this one. There isn't a piston filler, uh, I'll, it's basically the same, but it's slightly different. Uh, I have an ear bulb, to become clear what we do with this, and we have a, a needle. This is not a sharp needle, it's, it's blunt, so this is not anything dangerous. And some kitchen towel. So, we will go over to the sink, or as my American friends say, the faucet. Not quite sure how that works. And we will uh, do a quick show of how we do this. So, here's the pan. First thing we do is we will uh, take it into its constituent parts. As you can see, this is converter filled. And we just rinse it to start with. Uh, it's not a quick process I'm afraid, the ink can be very very stubborn. Once we've finished rinsing what I like to do is fill the sink with a little bit of water and just draw, you can see, up and down, look at how the ink comes out a number of times and keep doing this and what it does is it pulls water up and out through the nib you might need to uh, empty the sink and put some clean water in a few times but this is more annoying if you've got multiple pens to do if you've just got the one it's not too bad and keep doing this there you go And we'll empty it, give it another rinse. See there's not a lot coming off, I've already got ink on my fingers. Um, we'll take the converter off, if you've not got an ear bulb, you just rinse it out now. Like that. And the same with the converter. You could do this with the converter, fill the sink and just draw it up and down a few times. And if you're using the same ink, just leave this to dry for a bit. I always try to if you flick it like that. And then uh, leave it to dry for a bit and you could refill that up, same with this. You could hold onto it hard. But, I don't do this, this is what the air bulb's for, so, fill the air bulb with water, place it in the pen, squirt it, and keep doing this until the water's clear, that water's clear on that actually, and you normally use a whole bulb. Like that. Water's clearing that. Then, if you put this, I'll show you this a bit. If you put this standing up like that on the nib very gently, it'll draw the water out of it. And then that's done, that's clean. If you want to, what I do with the converter is open it out, put some uh, water in there, and then I just squirt this in like that. Also bring it forward a bit as well.
and that's clean. And we'll tear off a bit of paper. And it up. Just dry out the inside of the pen. If you can get it small enough, you can just shove it up, see if it'll work. You can just shove it up the converter to dry. But I find that's quite fiddly. But that's basically it, that pen's ready to use. I'm not changing the ink in that pen, so that pen's ready to use again now. Now, if it's a piston filler, obviously this would be your piston knob. You would have to go up and down repeatedly with the piston filler. It's quite tedious and you will have to empty the sink a few times. It's quite tedious, but that's what you have to do. Or, on some of your piston filler pens, I can do this with both my piston filler pens. Please don't do this if you're not sure. The nib units screw out. You have to be very gentle taking them out. The nib units screw out and then you can use this to rinse the inside. And both mine do that. I've got a Pelican and an Aurora and they're very good. But it's, it's basically the same thing. And there we go. That's a uh, basic cleaning of your fountain. I do this after every fill. Uh, and I certainly don't leave ink in the pen long term. Hope that helps. See you next time.